Hey everyone, um, so one of the most problems of an animator is that we tend to create different sets of animations in different files and then for the final result we want to mix it, but it's kind of not very intuitive in Max to do that because when you import a new animations it always will replace the animation that is in the file there's no way to um, import an animation after the first one or before the first one I mean when you import it like that but there is definitely a way to mix animations so let me just um, show you here how it happens when you import a file so these are some of the animations that I have downloaded from Mixamo. Um, it's just an online auto rigger by Adobe, uh, just for this test. So we'll go here to tutorial temporary and then open Mixamo. So this is our rigged character. Uh, let me just yes. So this is our rigged character, and uh, we'll add it to the scene. It's an FBX file and it will add itself up. So here is what the character looks like. Now there's two animations to this, so we'll import the first one. It's running slow and we'll just update animation. So now it's running slow, you can see here that it's running like this. And then another one is running fast, so it is running here so you see that uh, that animation is gone and this one's uh, the current one so you know that was lost so there's one way to uh, mix these is we can go to animation and though first we'll have to select everything we want to select everything and um, we'll go to animation and we'll go to save animation now this will save only the animations as an xml animation files called xaf so we'll just save here going here we'll create a new folder it's called anims and we'll save it so this will be running fast and it's saving it's saved now we'll import import running slow animation with animation and then we'll select everything again and we'll go to animation and save animation and then we'll name it as running slow and it's saved now if we were to open a new file let's just don't save it and uh, we'll go to import and then we'll uh, import this now make sure that your rigged character uh, is uh, does not have any animations in the time frame when you're mixing the animations that you want to uh, import into the scene so you have add for the mesh and the rigged mesh that is but no animations so it will be like this but there's no keyframes none at all we'll just go to zero here okay and then we'll select everything and then remove this key from animation we don't need that now what we can do is we'll start importing that so we can do that by going to craft editor and motion mixture now control plus m is mine assigned uh, it's like my custom assigned shortcut but this will not be there on your max unless you've assigned it we'll go to motion mixture and it will open something like this so what we'll do is we'll go to select everything in this scene we'll just take it here select everything in the scene and then we'll click add max objects because this is not a biped object so we'll not create add bipeds but this is a custom rig with custom bone set we'll create add max object and then it will ask you to select everything do you need the joints and the surface? Well, we don't need that. So we'll just press control and then deselect these. Then press add. It will create a timeline layer here. You can just right click inside of it. New clips from files. 
and then you remember where you saved those files xaf files so we'll just uh, import one running slow and you can see that it's there all right and then we'll create a new clip from sorry we'll have to go to uh, I mean you can obviously import something here along the line but what we want to do is we want to mix those two animations so that they transition from one to the other slowly so we'll just go create add layer track below this will create another layer track below and then we'll go to new clips from files and running fast and now it's there now it's there what we'll do is you can see let me just show you how it works so if we go from here it's running and then it's running again fast like so the transition is very harsh so what we'll do is we'll just like go from here we'll click on edit weight curve now it's all red you can see here we'll go we'll click here and we'll just drag this down and then it's done then we'll click this one click on the edit weight curve click around the end of this you see the arc cursor changing that will add a point here now we'll go to this and sorry we'll go to this and drag it down and now if we were to um you can see that it's smooth you can obviously play around with this setting so if we were to move it along like this and you know we were to turn this both on and we can just go here and so it will be more uh, mixed properly before you do this before you uh, create a motion mixer file and uh, mix all the animations make sure that your character uh, is all set in the proper axis make sure that uh, maybe maybe one of your animations is facing uh, maybe the back side and one is like maybe a bit, little bit above the ground you can obviously change that by adding keyframes into the scene like if we were to add um keyframes right here maybe i want to want it to run a bit forward so we'll just do that it, it's uh, it uh, might happen i mean it won't happen in this base layer so you'll obviously have to create a new animation layer uh, i'll tell you about animations layer later but the thing is uh it's not really advised it's not advised to do any animations after you've mixed everything because after you save the file it will cre it might create uh, it might bug out so it might create unpredictable results so even though it's working right here if i save it and open it it will create uh, it might bug out it might not but then again it might so it's it's not very uh, recommended like that so uh there you have it you know uh it's something to think about it's it's how you mix animations in max it's it's not a very intuitive uh intuitive way to do it you can't just go to file and import animations you will have to mix it uh like you mix layers in photoshop or more uh, appropriately you mix layers in premiere pro with video files that's how you do it uh, you change their weight curve and then you mix them so uh thank you for watching this was rather a bit long video than my usual ones but i hope it helped you like and subscribe share this video if it helps anyone thank you